Hi, I'm Jade and today I'm unboxing my first custom from a homespun hobby. So if you guys are familiar with the event going on called uh, Summer with the Masters with Diamonds and Washi and Tiny Worlds of Wonder, you'll know that um, it's a an event where you get either customs or, or pre-made things, but things that are old masters, so things like before 1929 if I'm not wrong. Um, so when that whole thing started, it was started on my birthday, May 1st. So I immediately jumped on and um, bought from a homespun hobby, which both Diamonds and Washi and Tiny Worlds of Wonder talked about in their videos. I will link theirs up, up above. I got two customs and then I got one like pre pre-selected photo kit if that makes sense, which are all, what is it called? Or actually I got four. One was just like a different thing. It was a little frog anyway. But today I'm going to be showing the custom I was most excited for and giving you my first thoughts on it and such. But I will say, if you do plan to order from her, keep in mind she is just starting out her business and um, she's pretty new. So it did take from May 1st until I believe, it was barely last week that I got it, so mid-july so keep in mind that if you do a custom or do order a custom it's gonna take quite a while you just gotta keep that in mind and uh let's go look at the canvas but before we do um if you want you can donate to my buy me a coffee and you will get your name mentioned in my whip and chapter reads um and that's just a little thank you to you guys for supporting my channel um if you don't want to that's totally cool but what you can do for free is comment down below and leave an emoji it helps spread my channel and helps get it in the algorithm so that would be super nice and i would be super thankful for that so uh without further ado let's go look at the canvas please excuse any patitas that you might see um that you might see my feet it's just it's how it is because this canvas is huge and there's no other way I can show it than on the floor. Now, this is how it came in this bag and then inside of a triangle USPS tra shipping box. So that's how it came. I don't care, as you know, if it comes and it's not destroyed, then I'm fine with that. So uh, I'm going to unbag this for you right now. I want you to get my first reactions on camera. So I'm going to do this and please ignore that I'm this this outfit looks ridiculous. I didn't think I was gonna be seen. So let's pull this out. I really wish I could show you this on my trunk. It does have a business card with Sally's information. So I will link her shop and the store and everything down below. Oh, it's real dark. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna put a photo up right here on screen this is the photo i sent sally i am nervous okay um let let me bring you up so you can see what i'm seeing this is the canvas um as you can see i'm gonna put the photo up again this these are very different this the one that i received seems to be very dark and cool toned whereas the one that i sent is very warm toned and bright so i don't know i'm a little nervous but let's look around this canvas okay so there is the photo which also is very dark so i'm wondering if it's just the printing that's dark i don't know this is making me nervous um here is the uh schematic and i believe there's there's 60 colors and one AB. Ooh, I'm going to show you where the AB is. Okay, so this is an old Masters. And this is called uh, A Young Girl Defending Herself Against Arrows. And if you guys want to get this for yourself, just comment down below or something and let me know that you want it. Or DM me on Instagram so I can send you the file of the picture. Look at the little cherub baby. Oh, why? My, uh phone just auto brightened it and that looks way different okay and now it's back to how it looks on camera it looks pretty much the same on camera as it does in person actually it still looks a little bit darker in person so i really don't know this rendering is beautiful i'm just not sure about the colors really 
it's making me nervous. The whole reason I wanted this painting is for the... I know it's weird, but with Renaissance paintings, I think, like, one of the most beautiful things are hands and feet. So the fact that you could see all the hands and the feet and a cute little baby butt um, is really what drew me to it. And I just think it's very classically beautiful. But I am really nervous. I'm not gonna lie. So now that I showed you the schematic, this canvas is pretty much identical to Mary's Diamonds. It has that felty back. So if you've ever had Mary's Diamonds, that's what it's like. Now I wanna show you the symbols. Excuse the glare, that's just coming from the light. Everything seems to be printed very clearly, but everything is very dark, which I'm not sure why. But nothing seems to be very unclear. I feel like that's maybe the most unclear, but I can still very much see it's like the more than sign. Or less than? I think it's less than. I'm just really unsure about how dark it is. That's what's making me nervous. Uh, but let's look at the drills. I'll take you up to my trunk so you can see the drills. All right, the toolkit, basic toolkit. It has tweezers, multi skinny multi-placers, a MOSFET tray, and wax. I don't really care, but that's just me. Um, I got three big bags of drills, and they are resin, which I am very presently, pleasantly surprised because I wasn't expecting it. Because it was fairly cheap for, for, for what you're getting. I really like the quality of the drills. Look at how many. Ooh, this is going to be a big painting. I'm excited. Uh, let me open these up and pull out some of the colors. So maybe you can see the colors a little bit better, maybe not. I'm not sure. Here are the ABs. You get a ton of them for this one. Where did these even go? I'm gonna show you where these go, so I'm gonna toss these on the canvas. And then I wanna take some of the skin tones and see the difference between the rendering and the, I'm guessing these are the skin tones? the rendering and the actual uh, art, because I'm really nervous with how dark it is. It's making me concerned that it's gonna be crazy dark. And there's a lot of black in here when there wasn't really any black in the photo. There's, <gasps> oh my God. Let's just go back to the canvas before I flip my, <sighs> Okay, the drills do make it seem like it's gonna be a much lighter in um, person. 24, wait, I didn't check 24. That goes in his little foot. So this, this is this symbol, like this is what where this is going. This 53 is where this dark color is. This goes where these, um, this section is, this very dark, almost black looking section. This 59 goes to these Ks, this goes to these Hs, and this goes to these As. So overall, like, it is going to be much lighter. I just don't understand why it's printed so dark. The other canvas I got, um, I actually opened it to check if it was the same, and it's printed very bright, so I'm not sure what happened with this one. Like, that seems very odd to me. And... For the ABs, it's all of these little bullseyes, which I'm kind of like, that's a lot of ABs for the background. Like, I don't know, I feel like that might be a bit much, so I might have to just take some 5200s and like, switch them out, because I feel like that's gonna be very distracting from like the main pieces of the image, but I'm really not sure. Can you guys let me know what you think? Um. I guess I'll go up to talk to you guys and have my final thoughts. Okay, so we just finished looking at that and I am feeling a little bit better after putting the drills next to the symbols. Still not sure what that's about, but I did email Sally and ask her about it and be like, hey, like what's going on? And I guess um, this was one of her older, uh, what is it called, suppliers and they, 
did this thing called like they they print with no backlight so it looks a lot darker than it's going to become but I am still nervous, but I'm feeling better about it. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that because I think it's a little strange, but I'm gonna go with it. It is resin drill, so like it should completely cover everything. And hopefully there's no gapping because then the, the darkness behind it would make it very obvious if there's gapping. But uh, I'm excited. I kind of want to kit this up just so I can test like little pieces of it to see if it's going to look okay. I don't know. T comment down below and let me know if you think I should do a little test section just to see or if I should just do my whips and this can be in line because yeah. Um, but overall, like I said, little skeptical, but um, the quality is super nice and I was not expecting to get resin drills because um, I had bought a little like paper size painting from um, her shop just to get a feel for the things while I waited for my customs. And that one had acrylic drills. So I think that must be old stock or something that she was just trying to get rid of. Uh, but these ones are fully uh, resin drills and my other painting I checked is also resin drills. So there's a little inconsistency, but she has new company. So I'm gonna let that slide for now. Um, I will be ordering from her in the future to see if things improve and I can give you guys a better opinion about it. But for this being a new company, I do think it's really good quality and I like that she held off sending them out until she had the quality she think she thought we deserved. So props to Sally for that. And if you wanna check out her YouTube channel, you can go right here and if you want, or right here. And if you wanna check out her shop, I will link everything down below so that you uh, can check out and see if you wanna buy anything from her. Um, again, the shop name is a homespun hobby and yeah, the, oh, this kit, by the way, was $91. Um, I'm pretty sure. I, I'll double check that because it might have been cheaper because she did have a summer with the master's code, but I think it was around $91. And I forgot to mention the size. It is 84 uh, centimeters by 115 centimeters. So this is even bigger than my um, summer with the master's that is from Mary's Diamonds, which is 100 by 80. And it is uh, the, card the, card the, card the Cardinal's Portrait. There we go. Um, so if you wanna see that, it's right here. Uh, and yeah, let me know anything that you wanna know or anything, any advice, I don't know. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.